I'm Katie Legrone. Our exclusive investigation into the state's child welfare system continues. 20 additional families have now joined a statewide lawsuit accusing Florida's child welfare system of fabricating evidence, manipulating facts to keep biological family members from taking custody of young relatives in the state's care. It's a system created to protect children and keep family units intact. But three months after we were first to share this lawsuit accusing Florida's child welfare system of going out of its way to break some families apart. There was nothing wrong with me having my granddaughter. I can't even describe the pain that we experienced at the, at the family. 18 more families have now joined the suit. People saw your story in the news and they said it happened to me. Claiming Florida's Department of Children and Families, along with its child welfare partners, are violating family rights by denying them custody of young relatives in the state's care. They just stonewalled us. Curtis Houston and his wife are among new families now joining the legal fight. We first met them back in July after they say they were never notified their grandchildren were in the state's care. Earlier this year, they were denied custody, a judge citing the children's bond with their foster mom. We've them been through hell and back. According to the newly filed 45-page amended complaint, workers within the state's child welfare system failed to conduct diligent searches for biological relatives. They're also accused of fabricating evidence or manipulating facts to keep some biological family members away. And according to the suit, the system even serves as an internal diversion system, taking and keeping children from relatives so foster system-connected staff can take them. It's among the serious allegations being lodged against the state, which some families say also results in violating children's First Amendment rights by tearing them apart from siblings. They lost everything and why continue to split them? This couple says it happened to their young nieces. When they don't have their parents, at least having a sibling would make that easier. The aunt and uncle say they didn't even know their baby niece had entered foster care in 2019 until child welfare workers contacted them to adopt her eight months later. I aged out of foster care, so I understand the system. And so um, my initial reaction was, why did nobody reach out to me? They agreed, went through backgrounds, home studies, classes, even got the blessing of the state's adoption review committee. But in the end, they say they were denied over the child's bond with her foster mom and concerns over the aunt's previous history of marijuana use. The couple later adopted the child's younger sister. And so how does that make sense? It doesn't. Studies show children do better growing up with their biological families and their siblings. In fact, the research is so strong, state and federal law mandate child welfare systems search for willing and able relatives before separating siblings or placing a child with a non-relative stranger. I think it's an incompetence in the system. Valentina Villalobos is among attorneys representing these families. She also used to work for the state's guardian ad litem program, which serve as legal advocates for children in state care. I would, yes, regularly choose foster parents over relatives. And the excuse would commonly be, oh, well, where was the relative at day one? You know, why didn't they step up? But when in hindsight, I, I think the truth is a lot of them didn't know. By law, cases involving child placement are confidential. In response to this latest complaint, a DCF spokesperson told us by email, the department works tirelessly on finding relative and non-relative caregiver placements for Florida children. Keeping families together is of the utmost importance, and in some cases, that is not possible. When that happens, the department works with our partners to make sure placements and services are in the best interest of the child. According to data we found online, just over 40 percent of children in Florida are adopted by relatives, consistent over the last several years and among the highest of states nationwide. Do you really think only half the kids in care have family that could care for them? I, I don't. Neither do these families who say their proof the system created to support children and keep families together doesn't always work out that way. I want to be able to leave something that we can, that when she searches who she is, she'll know her family never stopped. And we can't express that to her. So we want to leave something that we can show her that we love her. Katie Legrone for the Florida 24 Network.